Alrighty, everybody. In this one, we have a 2016 GMC Sierra. Ah, uh, has a big, the big 5.3. Um, the issue with this one apparently is that the. So what's happening with this one is that we have a message in a dash saying that there's an issue with the brake trailer wiring or something like that. Uh, from what I understand from the client, I have not. Oh, I don't need that. I have not done anything to this vehicle yet. I thought I'd bring you guys along and we will see what is going on. Uh, whoop, nope. Cancel all VIN auto detect. All right, so let's get to doing this. Um, I got some stuff to do today, so I gotta try to make this as quick as possible. Um, hopefully there's just a bunch of corrosion in the back that's causing all this. That's what I'm hoping, but uh, you never know. So let's do a diagnosis on this and see what this vehicle needs. Oh, that's not gonna read anything. Key in, key on. Let's look at the dash. Trailer brake system, service. All right, so there is a message for that. So uh, we're gonna see if we have any codes, that's for sure. We might have to restart the scan. And we'll cancel, we'll retry the scan again. All right, so this is the five three, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, this is an eight speed automatic. I have no idea which one it is. I could look on the uh, the codes, but yeah, I gotta try to get this car done, so. Let's close this door. Radio. I don't think that's an upper level radio. It might be. No, I don't think so. We'll just go with this one. It doesn't really change anything for what we need to do. I have no idea. We'll take this one. I don't even think this has seat memory. No. Diagnosis, auto scan. Good. All right, so everything just finished. We're gonna click on report. Uh, brick control module, that's the one that we want. Engine control module, electronic brake. Control module communication, bus A off. So we're having communication issue with it. Perfect, so now I just have to locate where this guy is. Uh, and then from there, we'll uh, be able to see what is going on. So give me a minute, I'm gonna look for it and I'll bring you guys right back. All right, so let's do something else first. Um, let's go into our uh, trailer brake control module. Electronic brake control module. Let's go to uh, special functions. Uh, that's not going to be it. Um, or actually, not electronic brake. Sorry, I need electronic brake. My trailer brake. Where was it? Or was it in my electronic brake that I was seeing it? Hmm. Okay, so maybe it is a. Uh, Maybe it was me, I actually read this as a uh, trailer brake control module. And if we look, we actually don't have the trailer brake control module on here. So that is a very good indication that the system is not on. So either it's a uh, trailer brake control module or maybe some wiring going to it. So let me finish finding that where it lives and then I'll bring you guys back. All right. So here is the brake trailer control module. It lives above your rear spare tire in case anybody's wondering. I am lying on the ground. Uh, we're gonna unplug this guy if we can. Which uh, actually might not even have to. Oh, there's a problem guys. We have a broken power wire. 
So I was going to do a power and ground check, but um, no need for that. So uh, yeah, so this is going to be a pretty quick fix, I guess, from what I can tell. Um, I don't know how we are going to end up repairing this because this wire is actually pretty thick and I don't think I have any thick wire lying around. Um, the easiest way to do this would be to de-pin it, get a new pin, put in a new pin, and then go ahead and repair it. Um, because I don't know how bad that corrosion actually is. So, uh, I don't know because it, the corrosion seems to go up pretty far. All right, so that was a, a pretty quick diagnosis on this one, but um, I w basically always take and check your basics, guys. Power ground signals. All right, when I mean signals, I mean your signals coming in and out of your module, and also make sure that you have your uh, communication lines that are going to be coming in. But it's for sure that if I have no power, uh, this module is not going to be alive. All right, so that is it for this one. I am going to repair this. I'll give you guys a post repair uh, when I have one. Or if I have one, uh, I might not be the one repairing this. So, um, why? Because I don't have the pins. So, um, yeah. Because I need to pin, I need to wire. Everything else seems to be okay. So, we got the okay to go ahead and try to repair this wiring. Uh, I'm going to try my best. Like I said, uh, see if I can get this connector off first and then we'll go from there. Alright, so first step, take off your connector. Then we're going to take out this little shield right here. So in order to do that, all you're going to do is just take a uh, screwdriver or something, you're going to stick it into the side, and you're just going to pry up gently in order to get out this little uh, uh, pin separator if you want, okay? This guy just takes and he slides in here, like so, and he keeps all the pins separate so that they don't touch. Now after that, there's going to be a tiny, tiny little tab on the inside. I don't know how well I'm going to be able to show you guys this, but there's a little gray tab in there. That little gray tab has to come up, and then we can pull out the pin. Just like so. Alright, so all I did was just pull up on that little gray tab, pull out the pin, and uh, now we just gotta take and get a new wire onto here in order to splice a wire onto this side. We're gonna have to take and cut a lot of wire, but that's okay. So we're gonna take and uh, cut wire over here. I'll bring you guys back out, that doesn't look too good. Ooh, here we go. So we're gonna take and uh, bring another wire over here, a wire inside of here, and fix this up properly so that there's no uh, no more corrosion that happens. We're gonna use some shrink tube, and that will be it. So give me a moment, and uh, I'll try to see what type of pin I can find for this. All right, so I got the connector all changed. Uh, I reused the same pin. Uh, if ever you guys do this, or the same terminal I should say, be very very careful, okay, because you can actually damage the terminal. Make sure that it's in there nice. If you see, I got everything pretty much in there the way that it's supposed to be. So now what we're going to do is try and reinsert it and see if it actually clips. I might have to use both hands for this, so more than likely I will. Yeah, I'm going to have to use both hands, so give me a minute, okay? Alright, so that is that for the pin. Now what we have to do is open up the loom a little bit up here. Um, take the wiring out. We have to cut some... Put, put, that got dirt in my mouth. We have to take some wiring out. All right. Um, cut that red and green wire as, best, uh, as much off as we can to make sure that there's no corrosion. Put this wire onto here. We're gonna shrink tube, it, shrink tube it with some glue, uh, shrink tube with glue into it. Make sure it's nice and sealed, and then we're gonna plug it in. See if we have communication with our, with our brake trailer control module. So I'm gonna get that done, and I will bring you guys right back. All right, so repair is all done. Wiring is back in. Oh. Let's go up to the front. Let's see what is going on, shall we? So now we're going to go to auto scan again. Transmission control module, electronic brake control module, chassis control module. I might have to cycle the key off and then back on. Right, let's just go through and I'll bring you guys right back. So let's go into control unit, brake control module. Trouble codes. Let's erase the codes and then we'll come back in. Miller requested history. D 
DCC, now it's our history code. So what we're, we're going to do is clear DTC. Yes. All right. Traction control on. We'll back up. We will close the door. Oh, I don't know if I have to reinitialize something. I don't think so, but uh, dismiss. All right. So there was a broken wire. See what happens here. Start up the vehicle. And there we have it. So the, uh, the trailer brake system is now working. That's it for this one. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, I will see you guys next time.